Hey guys, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living and today we're going to make some lasagna for a birthday meal. My daughter turns nine today and my kids always get to pick what their birthday supper is and she picked lasagna. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what the ingredients I'm going to use today. I have some cheese. I bought this. It was on sale. Some marble, mozzarella, old cheddar, more marble. Use what you got. Two things of cottage cheese. This is leftover hamburger. I made pizza for her birthday party yesterday, and this is leftover hamburger. So I'm going to use that. I have two fresh things of hamburger and one defrosted in the microwave because I'm going to turn this into a freezer meal too. Um, I have two things of frozen spinach. You can use fresh. You don't have to use it at all. This is optional. Today I'm using oven ready lasagna noodles. You can use the ones that you boil too. Those are fantastic. I'm just on a time crunch today. And of course, Mr. Mays is cranking. Hold your horses, folks. All right, I'm not even refilming, but I just had a deal, you know, uh, kiss it better. He bumped his noggin, so that's what it was. Yeah, you can use the regular noodles. Those work fantastic. Like I said, I'm on a time crunch. I had, I didn't realize I had these in the, the pantry. I have three cans of mushrooms. Again, all this stuff is optional. There's so many different ways to make lasagna, but I do have some dehydrated mushrooms that I could rehydrate if I need them. I'll have to wait and see how many lasagnas I end up making. I have two onions, and this is a container of leftover pizza toppings too. It's onion and red pepper. I'm going to put that in too. Um, let me see. Watch out, Bubba. Here's Mr. Mays. I have, this is so sad. It's my last three jars of homemade pasta sauce, tomato sauce. So when I was at the store today, I had to buy some store-bought kind. I buy the original so I can doctor it up myself. But use what you got. Use what you like. Use what your family likes. Same with, um, I have some diced tomatoes. So, also for the spices that I could think right off top of my head, some onion powder garlic powder, some Italian seasoning, pepper, and salt. I'll let you know when we put this together if I add anything else. I just couldn't think of anything off the top of my head. So let's get started. First we're going to do the hamburger. And I'll, I'll speed up the pace guys because I tend to be a rambler. And I should have did this in the beginning. I just washed my hands thoroughly. I'm really kind of a not about that kind of stuff. I usually wear gloves when I'm dealing with food. But but if you're new to my channel, or our channel, I need to learn to start saying our. Um, welcome. Um, yeah, we're going to make lasagna, and it's going to be good. It's going to be meaty, it's going to be cheesy, and it's a special occasion. So you got to make it good. Got to make it. Got to, got to, got to. Anyways, I'm going to get this started. I just break it up in the pan. I have it on high, but I end up turning it down to medium, medium high after it gets going. And we're just going to add, well, I'll do it real quick while well, I have you guys here. I'll break it up in chunks like that. Oh, let me see here. I need to learn to be a little more organized. So, yeah, I'm using the leftover hamburger from yesterday. And there's leftover pizza in the fridge, too. So we're going to have lasagna with a side of pizza. Also, I'm going to use some leftover sauce. I still have about a quarter of a pot left of pizza sauce that I made. And we'll just add that to our pasta sauce mix. So las lasagna can kind of be a dump meal. You can put anything in lasagna. Sorry, guys, that was garlic powder. This is onion powder. And, yeah, I do it all, all together. I do it all together. Sometimes if I had the onions already cut up, I'd fry them all together, but... I think I'm just going to put straight up onions in my lasagna. Um, yeah, we'll mix this up. Get it sizzling. I'll put a little salt. Uh, about a tablespoon per package. Oh, I, I forgot to mention something else. Oh, oh this is smoking. What's going on here? this burner. There must be something under there. Anyways, I forgot to mention, I like to use a can of tomato soup when I make lasagna. Uh, I just find, and yeah, it's store-bought, but it just, 
I, I always use a can of soup. When I make spaghetti, when I make pizza sauce, when I make lasagna sauce, um, I didn't have it on the table, but yeah, a can of tomato soup. So I'll bring it back when this is all, you know, good and fried up. All right, guys, I think I decided I just chopped up an onion. I'm going to chop up the other one, and I'm just going to fry them all up together. I thought two birds, get it all done and over with. Uh, so, yeah, I'll sizzle these up together, and it'll be ready to rock. Time to cheese it up. are done. I'm going to take that other pack out of the microwave and fry that up with an onion and the meat will be done. All right let's do the mushrooms. I'm using my phone right now just because my camera keeps freaking dying on me. So I emptied three cans. I strained them and uh, my kids don't mind mushrooms but for some reason in lasagna they don't like them. <laughs> so I still put them in and they don't even notice. So I put that little uh, grinding blade down there. I have a little food processor, like one of those little tiny ones. I usually use this. Let me walk around here. Uh, I use for this, but since I already dirtied up my big one, I'm going to do them all at once. So it's going to get loud, folks. <laughs> Alright, let's look at it. I know it's going to be all uneven, chunky, but... Woo! Yeah, that's good enough. I just wanted to um, break it up small. And I think I'm going to fry this up with that third pack of hamburger I just put on. Instead of adding an onion, I'll fry these, uh, these babies up with that pack of hamburger. And eventually I'm going to put all three packs of hamburger in one big bowl. Um, and I do an assembly line when I make lasagna, so... I'll show you that. All right, this is that third pack of hamburger. And here's the mushrooms. I had to add a little more water to the pan when I put the hamburger in because it was still kind of frozen. And I don't like to overdo it in the microwave on defrost because then it starts cooking in the microwave, and I don't want to do that. I'm doing this one-handed because my camera's still charging and I can't put my phone on the tripod. So I'm going to scrape that out, and we'll just fry this all up together. Kids will never know, honestly. We love mushrooms, and they're so good for you. Um, yeah, I do this sometimes with onions if it's a dish that they don't like chunks of onion. It's funny because they'll eat onions in some things and not in others. Same with mushrooms. But either way, they're going to get the vitamins and minerals uh, one way or another. So I'll scrape that out, and I'll show you what this all looks like when it's all done. I just want to show you guys, while I'm filming, oh, gosh. This is what is my regular. I'm standing here at the stove, and Mr. Mays, I know my belly pokes out, um, he's always at my feet. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. I might not look like he's at my feet, but he always is. In and out, and in and out, and in and out. Uh, any other moms or dads out there that have toddlers that just need to stick to you like glue? Because uh, <laughs> that's, that's my Mr. Mays to a T. Right, guys let's get this sauce going this is the leftover pizza sauce just has a little bit of oregano um, Italian seasoning and onion and garlic powder pretty much everything that I'm gonna use for um, lasagna I might not put so much oregano in it but this is just the leftover sauce so there's gonna be a lot more so I'm gonna add all my canned tomato sauce the last of my tomato sauce I am going to rinse these jars out with a little bit of water and juggle it from jar to jar to get every little last bit. 
I got another jar over there. But these are a couple cans of original hunts. Uh, what I'm using. Let me see here. I like to get every single last bit of sauce out of any jars or cans that I have. And a spatula is a great tool. I recommend having at least one. I love having multiples of spatulas because I use it to scrape out pots, to scrape out, um, well, anything. Bowls, you make a cake. So I'm going to add the original and then I'll add a little more spices to it. I have the heat on high just for a few minutes, just until it starts getting warm, and then I'll turn it way down because you certainly don't want this sauce to scorch. And it's not hard to scorch sauce, so you got to be very, very careful. And then I have a can of No Name Diced Tomatoes, Canada's Choice. Let me just look. I don't know if it's made in Canada. Yeah, product of Canada. So this looks like a lot of sauce, guys, but I plan on making two or three lasagnas. If, uh, if I had enough ingredients, I'd make umpteen, but... And I have a can of Almer's diced tomatoes with Italian seasoning. I'm going to add Italian seasoning anyways. This is starting to bubble, so I'm going to turn it down. And I'm going to add the good old Reliables. And we're not cooking this sauce, guys. I just like to heat it up before I start assembling a lasagna. It just gives it a head start. This is garlic powder. This is salt. Um, some onion powder. And you know, this is all the stuff we put in the meat. So this flavor, these seasonings are going to be radiated through the whole meal. Hopefully. That's our intent anyways. And I need some pepper. I forgot to mention I did add pepper to my other, um, to the meat and stuff like that. Forgot to film it. But here's some Italian seasoning. And here's some pepper. You see that jumbling? I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it reminds me of the bog of eternal stench off of the labyrinth. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Comment down below that you know what I'm talking about. But it just kind of jumbles and then puffs up. Anyways, I'm going to bring this up to not boiling, but just so it's all warmed all the way through. And then we start our assembly line. All right, guys, we're about to throw these lasagnas together. So I just wanted to show you. There's the sauce. There's the noodles. There's the shredded cheese. There's that little container of uh, peppers and onions, some cottage cheese, some hamburger. I brought out some Parmesan cheese because that can't hurt nobody. And some uh, squeezed, well, I'm going to squeeze it again when I take it out, but spinach. And uh, Miss Misha, here she is. Anyways, I'm going to fast pace this, but we'll start throwing these lasagnas together. <laughs> Hello, hello, 
Torre a tor, torre a tor. E soldier bien, we soldier combatant. Que ne noir te regard. E que le mortatant, torre a tor. L'amour, l'amour Silence, on fait silence, à casse passe t Et des cris et des cris célestins, les taureaux s'élancent en bannissant, auditeurs, ils s'élancent, ils entrent frappe, en chevelure, entre non en pique d'or. A bravo, taureau! cheese and spinach and two without the cottage cheese and spinach because some like it and some don't and that stuff I can't really disguise in any kind of a meal and there's a little bit of sauce left and a little bit of meat left so tomorrow you can see it's hard to tell it's hard to tell but there's a little bit and just a tiny bit of meat left tomorrow for lunch with me and Mr. Mays I'm going to use up that sauce and hamburger, and we'll just have a little bit of spaghetti or something for, for lunch. It, it, nothing's going to waste here. Nothing. So I, I always do this. I always buy more noodles than I need, but that's okay. I didn't even get the ones out of the cupboard. However, I'll have those for storage. Noodles don't really go bad. So I'm going to um, get these ready for the oven, and I'll show you that. Okay. I have to read the directions every time. It says to add half a cup of liquid they're saying water, but I don't do just water if I don't have to. I'm going to add a little bit, um, it says 1.25 liters for five cups or five cups of thick meaty sauce. Pour over, make sure the things are all covered. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to add just a smidgen, not much. I usually use, save my tomato sauce. And I'm only doing this because they're the unbaked. Uh, noodles. And this wasn't very liquidy sauce. Just a minute, baby. And we're going to cover this with tin foil. Just a minute. Go see. Go out there and see cartoons. I'll be right out. Cover this with tin foil for 45 minutes at 400 degrees. If you guys can't hear me, little Mr. Mays here certainly puts on a show. So what I'm going to do with the rest of this uh, juice, we don't really drink it. My mom used to love tomato sauce, uh, juice. I'm going to put it in a container and freeze it for the next time I make cabbage rolls or something like that. But no additives. It's all good. So we'll cover this with tinfoil, put it in the oven uh, at 400 degrees, and check it in 45 minutes. All right, the timer just went off. I only set the timer for 20 minutes because I have four pans in here. You'll see by this picture here I'm inserting. Uh, I, I could only put it in for 20 minutes because I want to rotate the pans so 
that they all get the equal amount of heat. So I have two on the bottom and two on the top. And I want to put the bottom on the top and the top on the bottom. After that, if they're nice and soft, I'm going to take the tinfoil off and we'll bake it another 10-15 minutes so it gets a nice little golden brown on top. Okay, the other 25 minutes went off. Let me turn this light on. I just came in from outside, guys, and it is a beautiful outside. Beautiful. I'm out there with the girls and my baby boy. And I'm going to check first the top ones. Let me see. Anyways, I was out there with the little ones. And um, they're riding their bikes. And I got a mud pie. I'll insert a picture here. That Miss Misha made for me. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That looks so good. Doesn't look dried out or brittle. I'm going to save this tin foil because I can use it later on when I uh, need to wrap it up. Look at that. Just like butter, cuts through. Oh, look at that. Anyways, those ones are done. So, I'm going to put those over on the wood stove just for a second so I can bring the other ones out and test it. I'm sure they're fine too, but we'll check them. And I swear to goodness, you guys, you just never know. You just never know. Through experience, I've learned, if you're baking something at your own house, and you do the exact same recipe at somebody else's house, with a different oven, it's not the same. You need to learn what your oven is like. All right, let's test these ones. So yeah, ooh, absolutely beautiful outside. Looks phenomenal. I'm hoping you guys can hear me okay. My kids laugh at me because it sounds like I'm shouting at you. But the camera that I use is, is not the greatest quality. It, it works very good visually. Well, when it comes to perfect... Yeah, wonderful. It works very good if I'm doing a landscape scene. Up close, detail, not so well. The mic is terrible, I gotta say. So, geez, I forget which one's which. I think these ones were on the top. So I'm gonna... All right, guys, I'm about to cut a piece of lasagna out because I got a room full of hungry people and they want some lasagna. So let me grab a plate. Cut a slice and see how it turns out. It's only been sitting for maybe 15 minutes, but time is a factor and people are hungry. So the longer it sits, you know, the more firmer it's going to sit up. But right now, we're just going to make do. So this might fall apart right now, but I, I guarantee if you let it sit longer, it will uh, it will firm up. So. Here, let me try to shovel this out. I have a good lifter, but I don't have, I don't know where it is right now, so I'm just gonna cut around the edges so it doesn't slide all over the place.
Ooh, look at that. Like I said, guys, it's still super duper hot. This one has the cottage cheese and the spinach. So I'm assuming that one over there does not. But can you guys see that? I will take a picture and insert it right here. But if you can see, oh, let me see here. I'm not very good at filming, but I'm learning. Yeah, it, it stays up. But I'll insert some pictures here for better quality. Okay, guys. Well, I just have to say, I can't find the footage that we did the taste test with with the lasagna, but I can assure you it was ooey gooey good. Um, it was a big hit, and there's absolutely none left. I planned on putting two in the freezer, but I only put one in the freezer um, because it was gobbled up that fast. No joke. But um, yeah, um, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and write us. We'd love to hear from you. I can guarantee we'll write you back. It's novascotialiving at gmail.com. But just remember, lasagna is one of those comfort foods. And yeah, I really, you know, beefed it up a bit with the, the lot of meat and the lot of cheese and all the, you know stuff that uh, might not be the best for you but it was a birthday and it was a request and um we don't have it very often so if you're gonna have it um do it how you like it and it is one of those things you can add anything in it i've made lasagna with broccoli in it like no joke and it was eaten so anyways um this is tracy from nova scotia living and come back again sometime we're always doing something we're always making something but we'd love to see you again all right peace love and happiness peeps